Well, thanks so much for joining us here once again on weatherbug.com. I'm weatherbug.com severe weather meteorologist Aaron Schaefer with you talking about the Rim Fire. Now up to the 13th largest wildfire in California history. That's just one of our topics we're discussing for today. Nearly 161,000 acres burned by this fire. Now back to the east, kind of fiery feeling temperatures, records being set two days in a row in the Minneapolis and St. Paul metropolitan area, 97 degrees yesterday, 99 then in Des Moines yesterday, 101 Pier and North Platte. All of these temperatures close to 20 degrees above average. And that trend continues today. Look at this, 95 today expected Minneapolis and St. Paul, 95 in Chicago. That would be only two degrees off from record territory for Chicago. So we are watching that. St. Louis, 11 degrees above average. Des Moines, potentially up to 101. And then down to the south, we go again. Concordia, Kansas, 11 above average, 17 above average. You get the trend across the region, still very, very hot conditions across the central plains. Now, as we look ahead toward midweek, again toward tomorrow, the nose of the heat making its way back again in toward central Ohio, north central Ohio. So along this northern flank, that's where we've been seeing showers and thunderstorms develop. Uh, but as we look ahead toward Sunday, we see the nose of the heat move east more, and then a cold front comes in. So some relief from the heat wave in store by the end of the weekend. But look at this, our heat index forecast puts uh, the upper Midwest at or near 100 degrees uh, for today. And then once again tomorrow, closer toward Des Moines and beyond. So a lot going on out there. Also talking about monsoonal storms than elsewhere. You can see a Phoenix dust storm. Most of 5,000 or 15,000 people without power from that.